last ng uh, Encantalia 2016. Alright, so, given that, no, first question natin yun, why bring back Encantalia? Okay, um, I guess it goes without saying that Encantadia was what is one of the big, big biggest uh, franchise of uh, GMA, the original concept. Okay, uh, it started off in Mulawin and then it segued to Encantadia. And then there's also Atlantica and there's Manica, etc. Uh, but I guess the biggest one and the strongest one of all is Encantadia. So the network has decided to bring it back. Actually, trivia, there were two attempts. I think the first attempt in you was the Labas ng T-30,010. Because of the situation during that time, the network did not to pursue it. It, was not, it has nothing to do with not wanting to do it. But, you know, when you decide on programming this expensive, you have to look at all the facets, the economy of the Philippines, the political situation. So at that time, it was not it wasn't uh, prudent to uh, to do it. We had another attempt in 2013, which you guys didn't know. Again, it was uh, held back, but we had a series of meetings already. Uh, but again, it was stopped. Then finally, uh, I think it was December or November of 2015, I got a call from our big boss, who is Lilibet Resonable, and says, guess what? That's all she had to say, and I was screaming already because I knew what it was that we're gonna bring back Enka. But again, it was proposal pala, kung papayagan ng network, meron pang study yan sa, again, the business side of things. When we got the green light, yun ayun, I put it on my Instagram account, uh, and that, it was just a day, June 2016, and people picked it up already. Uh, so there, that's how it started. So now, we're proud to announce that everything is in full production, and uh, soon you will get to watch Encantadia all over again. Wow! But you can the reaction here, right? Wow! So, we heard that uh, no, you're considering Encantadia as uh, this, this uh, iteration of Encantadia as a requel. So, oh, what, what, what exactly does it mean? What is a requel? Okay, it's a retelling and a sequel. Okay, kasi nga, people were saying, why? You know, the purists, I'm sure some of you there are saying, why not just do the same thing? You know, it's like, I'm sure you guys are, a, a, lot, a lot of deadheads are here, Walking Dead, and then Game of Thrones fans. The novel is the novel, the comics is the comics, and then the, the TV show is different. May mga alterations na yan. You know, it's just like us. If we're going to uh, do again in Kataja exactly the way it was done before, then just go to iFlix or go to YouTube and watch it all over again because that is so sacred. That is Encantadia that we know of. The, you know, Ding Dong Dantes, uh, Isa Calzado, Diana Subiri, Sunshine Dizon, and Karil. So that's that's that. Now, now we have a new audience and you guys will now enjoy another version of the show. It's a retelling because we are going to get it's based on the actual and the original Encantadia, mythology of Encantadia. But we are going to fix things that we thought that needed fixing in the original one. And there are some stories that we will not show anymore or we will not, we will not get into that. We will be skipping chapters and then we are giving new chapters to tell the story. And then it's a, it's a sequel because at a certain point, Yung mga know it all sa inyo na kala nyo ang galing-galing, actually, oh, that's yeah. why, sino kayo 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 It's like Game of Thrones na natapos na yung novel na the uh, TV series has took over. Also in Cantadia, at a certain point, may sequel na darating that none of you know about. Kasi kami, hindi pa namin alam kung ano mangyayari. You know? Uh, so that's what's exciting about it. You get, you know, that's what I said in again in one of my feeds na history may or may not repeat itself and nothing is what it seems. So there are a lot of things in store na it's familiar to you guys that you will be very nostalgic about it. But there are a lot of new things that you think you know it na pero if may twist pala to, sino to character na to, wala yan dati. Those are the reactions you're going to get. Okay, so all I'm asking, especially to the millennials out there, is have an open mind. Don't be so, you know, bratty about, ay, hindi si kanya nang nakasing ayaw ko manood. Di huwag kayo manood. <laughs> You know, keep an open mind because believe me, it may have just given us, uh, I think the world will agree with this, we were just given the green light 2015. But since 2013, 
we have not stopped working on the show because we with since 2009. Since 2009. Just 2009. <laughs> we had hopes already of it being brought back, and this guy has never stopped, you know, doodling and doing stuff, and you know, uh, you know, it, he says that it's just something, but I know, you know, it will fit right into the mythology of Enka. So, um, we're very excited. Uh, and I'm sure you guys will also be very excited about it. And there will be questions na meron noon na hindi nasagot na masasagot ngayon. Like, bakit nawala si Muya? That's not going to happen. Bakit yeah. <laughs> 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 yung power si Ginito sa ganito? Yung mga ganun. Pero dito, iba yun ang mga ganun. Speak of ano, so supernatural powers, parang ay wonder kung nandito na si ano. Si Noel Urbano, is he around? Do you know Noel, nasama na ba? The original voice of Imao. Original voice of Imao kay Noel, papunta ka na di dapat dito. <laughs> Ours, uh, hopefully he's here, he can do some voicing of Imao, and he will do again Imao for this series. Oh, so, so he will be Imao again? Oh yes, he will be doing Imao. Oh, we can't get anyone else. Because Imao has a reboot. Yeah, yeah. No, kasi yung bosses niya. Very in skill is very unique. No? Parang, you know, Yoda is Frank Oz. Diba? Oh, so no. you cannot have Yoda without Frank Oz. So, so the world is still around, so we'll use him as Ima. And then, uh, um, I also have had the personal pleasure of working with si, si Ima, or si Noel Urbano. Kasi uh, I directed him in Matipot, uh, or 2010. Alas. And si Kuya Noel is very, ano, Napaka-versatile niya. Iniba namin ng ilang beses yung Kapitan Paso ng boys. At then, nakuha namin yung tipla. So, very talented guys. So, wow! So, babalik si Kuya Noel sa Encantadia. Really great. So, um, before we proceed, gusto namin acknowledge yung presence ng mga Encantad, ng mga Encantada cosplayers dito. The Sangres! Palakpa ka na natin mga Sangres dito. Come on! Puta kayo sa harapan. Come on! Show yourselves. So April 1, I would have said to people that these are the original sounders of the, the series. No, um, I think, I, I'm not gonna say it's exclusive to Intataja, no, but if there, are, if there is one Pinoy original na series that has Expanded beyond television with the fandom, with the fan art, with the cosplayers. I think Encantaja is right up there. Yeah, okay. So, speaking of, ano, sa nyo yung i-attribute yung ganyang appeal ng Encantaja? Ano talaga nag-cross siya ng... ng, ng, ng yeah. Uh, uh, wow. Uh, maybe because it was original, and then maybe it just came at the right time that we were looking for our own Pinoy superheroes. Uh, and then uh, they could, it was relatable to them. And then we didn't scrape on the budget. I mean, you know, and then, you know, the great minds like Noel and Rodel Cruz who did the sets, Noel did the costumes and all. I mean, wala kami tinipet. Siguro yung nagustuhan ng tao kasi it was maganda. The standard was there. So, paano pa ito nangyayari? Ano ba yung dynamic ng trying to introduce uh, a very uh, pairing and what uh, uh, is it? Usually, you're risky yeah, no? uh, to do shows like that. But GMA really threw their support behind this. What no? are the circumstances behind that? What made that happen? Uh, That's what you said. Well, uh, uh, GMA is really good at doing fantasy. You know, and then it was leveling up. So from uh, Mulawi, they said they want to go bigger. So they brought in Encantadja. So that's basically it. And then we were good at it. And during that time, mahili ka tao sa fantasy. So uh, that's what we were. That's what we were giving the kapusos. Ilo you know, gusto nila. And then naging mga drama yung naging uso. Ganyan ganyan tao. Bumalik even universally. Bumalik sa Game of Thrones. So, uh, those kinds of fantasy that uh, we decided to bring it back as well. And I guess, uh, may kinalaman din yun sa pag-focus ng, ano, ng, ng production more on the content than the, ano, than, than, the, than the actors and actresses. Kasi most of the, well, the other network would concentrate on, ano, on popularity ng actor. And right. this time we... Yes! Yes! yes. We, we, <laughs> yung yeah. 2005, Sino ba nun si ano? Sino ba nun si Isa Calzado? Kilala lang siya for drama. At Diana Subiri was an FHM babe. Kahit kami, nagkakaroon kami ng pagtutuhutan na okay, pang bata to, pwede ba sa Diana Subiri? Diba? 
Pero that all changed. It's, it's, it's all about the content and not about the personality. So, nung, nung, nung time ngayon, nung, nung nagka-cast kayo, you, what were you after? Wow. Uh, we were just after... Actually, at that time, we didn't know the characters yet. We didn't have an idea who Perena was, who Amihan was. Okay? Uh, so, when we were casting, uh, okay, we need mga diwata, uh, na ganitong age, na dapat physically fit, that can handle na ganyan. Okay, so who do we have? Oh, let's get uh, Isa, let's get Karil, let's get uh, Sunshine, and Diana Subiri, which was totally not known at that time. You know, Diana was from the films. You know, and then Ding Dong, was not Ding Dong Dantes, who is right now. So, talagang binagay lang namin yung mga actors doon sa role na hindi ka nabubuo. And then nabuo na lang, and then now, they made it their own, and history dictates na, na yun na nga, si... Ito na yung problema eh, ito na yung challenge ngayon. You know, when you look at, Di when you look at uh, Diana Subiri, Adanaya, you think of Diana Subiri. When you look at Perena, you think of Sunshine Tizon. Diba? Okay. Again! <laughs> Keep an open mind. It's all about the content. Okay? Yes. Don't yes. focus on the actors that we're getting. Focus on what is exciting, which is the story that we're going to be giving you, and then the advancement in production, which <laughs> is the HGI to, uh, that is email cable puppet. Yan, na yung decafle. It's like, you know, when his eyes move because there's someone pulling the cable. Now, it is fully animatronic, it is radio controlled. Ah, oh. Yeah, so we're leveling up. The costumes used to be out of prep so in fiberglass. Now we have 3D printing. Na mabali isa dyan, we just order up on a bali kung ano, part number 3. Print it out again for us to use it. Ganun naka-advance. So beyond the cast, which we're very excited about, there's so much more to watch the show, and then it's the story, it's the the epic saga that you are going to you're going to get. Ah, so, um, may kaya naman mga iba ibang iterations ng katagya, no? may spin-offs and all that. So, and 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 one spin-off sa Ethereum yeah. involved yeah. heavily involved ang time travel. So I'm pretty sure para some of the katagyas here might be want to ask this question. So sorry, you una ako na kayo. However. May open mic tayo mga maya, so if you want to ask questions later, nandito yung microphone natin. Okay? But meanwhile, una ako kayo dito sa question na to. So, pinakita na natin that time travel happens in this universe. So, for 